Well, hello and happy Sunday. This is Kim Evans, and I am so excited to be here with you on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. So hello from wherever you are around the world, beautiful women, queens, entrepreneurs, kings, hello. I am Kim Evans. I am so elated to share just a glimpse of my journey, of what it means to be just so fed. Are you being fed from your soul? You know, I was actually in my meditation today and I had this thought, well, I had thoughts and I was having a conversation with God and I just began to just go into a thankfulness and a gratefulness of appreciation of where I am today. So I wanted to share a solo podcast with you on some discoveries. And I think it would help some queen that is out there. So I want to begin to say, it feels so good to be at this place At this time, in this dominion, in this space, it feels so good. And I have to say that I'm at a space and at a place that I have never, ever been before. So let me first just open it up and I want to just pray and I want to welcome the Holy One into this podcast show as I do every podcast show. God, I just thank you for just being omnipotent and being powerful and just being almighty. And just thank you for your greatness and not giving up on us and loving us and keeping us in the hollow of your hand. I just pray that the women that are listening to this podcast show, there's someone that's listening that will take this gem and may they be inspired. May they be motivated. May they be above all transformed to take a gem or two And to use that as a practice into their daily life. And when we do that, God, then we know that we have done the work. As far as the east, as far as the north, as far as the south, that the words coming through this podcast and the ears and through the continents that people will listen. And your words, Lord, will be very powerful. And someone will say, yeah, I got it. Thank you, God. And thank you, podcast listeners, for believing. I'm excited to be here at this place because, you know, we are in post-pandemic, post, as you know, that we've gone through what we've gone through. And, you know, there was a moment in time. I'm a business owner. I'm the owner of Two Gorgeous Integrated Health and Wellness of 26 years in Lafayette, California. And I'm also uh, a business and holistic wellness coach. I've had the opportunity to coach executives for years. And now, uh, in the last few years, actually been able to perfect a lot of that experience and to put them into a program and also offer coaching, one-on-one coaching. But I just wanted to say, it's exciting to be here at this place. Exciting because I'm content. I remember... That my grandmother at one time said, in all you're getting, be content, be content in all things. Philippians says to be content in all things. It's not about being happy. My dad would tell me all about that, too, because your emotions go up and down. But to be content, great contentment is great, is great gain. And I can I can I can I can finally say in my life at this point that I am content. What I wanted to share is, you know, we have a journey of transformation. It's the process the journey. Enjoy the journey. It's the journey that's where you're really going to transform. It is the journey where you're really going to learn. It is the journey and the becoming of who you are that God has created you to be. It's in the journey. It's in the walk. And it, throughout the walk, you are going to have experiences, right? You're going to have situations. You're going to have circumstances that's going to be thrown at you. And that's to make you stronger. That's to make you, you know, I wrote in, a, in my Facebook uh, pod, uh, Facebook post today and when we're talking about that God is being the wall breaker and sometimes we you may feel that you're up against a wall I know I have felt that I've been up against a wall for a very 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 long time however what I have discovered 
when I surrendered and I just like, you know what? No more of this. Why? I, 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 I had no more options. I'm exhausted. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm at wit's end. What I have discovered is when you surrender, I surrender. It's like, God, okay, you got to take it from here because I, 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 I can't do it no more. Man, things changed. Immediately they changed. You know, going through in the height of the pandemic, the last couple of years, man, you had to really pull some stops. You had to really get in there and say, how are you going to get through it? How I got through it. You know, there was a time when we was completely shut down. I'm in personal services. I didn't know how I was going to make it, you know, and it was amazing is that I leaned in. I just leaned in. I says, well, we're going to be locked down in here because there was a time where you just couldn't leave your house. You remember that? Well, then I'm not I, I, I'm not going to gain 30 pounds because I've been working too hard. I'm just going to lean in. So when I surrendered and I decided to lean in and to lean in on his word, I mean, literally every day, literally praying, literally meditation, leaning in, surrender, full surrender to sugar, full surrender to things and eating foods that was not going to actually serve me. Why do that? And a lot of people, unfortunately, came out of this with post 30 plus pounds. And I knew I did not want that to happen. But the point is, once I began to surrender, fully surrender, I mean, fully surrender, you couldn't go nowhere and spend no money. Where are you going to go and spend no money? You couldn't go to a restaurant and you go out to eat. So what was you doing? Okay, fully surrender, paying off debt, fully surrender, going into, okay, God, you, you, you got to direct me on my path and what we're going to give me a blueprint. Give me a blueprint. I need a blueprint. Fully surrender. The old way ain't going to work no more. Got to I have to pick up a new way of holistic marketing. Fully surrender. Just full, I got to pick up a way of fitness, can't get to the gym, fully surrender. You know, you can't do an outreach, can't hang out with your friends anymore, fully surrender. You know, you have to be your own chief cornerstone, your own company, fully surrender. Continue loving the clients that I did have, fully surrender into rebuilding the business, fully surrender. That the love is not right now, but God, I know you have my King Solomon, fully surrender. And a new vision and a new brand, fully surrender. When I fully surrendered, the breaker came through. The wall breaker came through. Walls started coming down. Those emotional walls started coming down. Those anxiety walls started coming down. Oh, my God. The unclarity walls started coming down. But this is the one wall. <laughs> this is the one wall that said, Kim. This is the one wall that I need you, your perfect attention to. So I remember I was in the Dominican Republic. Um, I was actually on a cruise with my brother and it was really beautiful. I will never forget it was last October. Beautiful. I've never been to the Dominican Republic. Had an opportunity to do that. You know, a lot of cruises was just now coming back. It was something that we had already planned a few years back and Carnival was just like, OK, we got to honor the people who had paid for these trips. And now we starting to honor you need to come back this month. And it's like, OK, great. So I walk by faith. It's like, OK, Lord, if it's meant to be, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm not you know, I had a great time. My point is I'm, I'm on the balcony. I'm on the veranda and I'm just, you know, just praising and thanking God for having the opportunity to see some blue ocean. You know what it's like? Of course, we know what it's like to be con constrained in our homes for a few years and to see the ocean. Something as simple as that to give him glory, to give him thanks. It was amazing. Just sitting out there, just like, God, thank you so much. That I have eyes to see the blue ocean. I have a nose to smell the blue ocean, just to see the blue ocean. Didn't have to eat nothing, didn't have to drink nothing. Just sitting up there, just said, God, I just said, oh, just thank you. Being the freedom of being out, surrendering. My soul began to be fed. God spoke to me and says, okay, when you get back, you're going to do this one thing. I need you to call this person and to forgive them. Forgive them. Oh, my God. You know, we have a journey in life. And um, the first commandment is to hear. It's to hear is to hear and to obey is the first commandment. Right. For faith believers. I'm talking to my faith believers here. Here. And to obey. And I says, okay, well, what you want me to do, God? Well, okay, well, when you get back, you need to call your ex-husband 
because I was married. I was married some, 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 some years ago. I was, I was married close to 10 years. And you're going to call your ex-husband and you're going to tell him that you're sorry for your part of the divorce. I said, what? You're going to call him and you're going to apologize for your part of what you did in the divorce. I said, oh man, okay, all right, all right. I have to really hold my tongue with that one. <sighs> so you know how you get these small voices in your head and, you know, they come and then they go and they come and they go. I'm like, okay. So all of a sudden it's like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to do just that. I'm going to do just that. So when I got back, I made that telephone call and it was one of the triumphant calls that I, it was grace and ease. It was grace and ease. It was easy to do. And I never forget the day that I made that phone call and I had called my ex-husband and I said, Hey, I, I have something I have something to share with you. And he's just like, is anybody dying in your family? Anybody, everybody okay? I'm like, everybody okay. But I have something to say and I have to get this message out and I have to get this message out today. And we had the conversation and he, he you know, he, he gave me the time and to speak. And I began to apologize for what I didn't do for what I did to him, on how I treated him, on the things I said to him. See, it's one thing, you know, ladies, there's, you know, is there in, in marriage, it, it takes two to tango. There's both sides. There's an A side and a B side. And although sometimes we may think that it is our ex-husbands that doing everything, we also have a play in that too, you know, so it's our thing that we're doing. And oftentimes we just don't think that we're wrong. Okay. Well, let me speak. Let me, let me speak. Let me speak by myself. I just did not ever think that some of those things needed to, uh, have a, a, a conversation about to say of a forgiveness, but God, God did. And it's like, I'm just like, do you, 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 he doesn't forget. <laughs> I just got to the story because this was the whole part of the surrendering. And so long story short, I began to, you know, to apologize for some of those things. And I did some things. I did some things and I said some things, some cruel things, you know, that I had never just said, I'm sorry. And you never know the hurt that you cause. And I'm talking for married people. I'm talking for married people in a relationship, words that you've said, deeds maybe that you have done, but more particularly words. And, you know, women, we can we can lash out with words in our mouths. I'm getting someone here with this story and it can cause a, a pain that could that lasts forever. And you never know how another person on the other end of that is being affected. And this is what God was trying to get me to a place of surrender and forgiveness because he knows what's coming down the pipe. Right. OK. So anyway, long story short, at the end of that conversation, my ex-husband was husband, was so thankful. He was so grateful. It was like, oh, my God, Kim, I've been waiting for you to hear that. I've been waiting for you to I've been waiting for you to say that all these years. Can you imagine someone waiting, someone waiting? And I did. God knew it. God knew what I needed to do. So long story short, it was a very good conversation. He appreciated so much. It was it was a really beautiful conversation. And we started it on a great note. We ended it on a great note. I even gave him a prayer and it was beautiful. And when I hung up the phone, God said, job well done, my faithful servant. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hope someone would be blessed with this. It's about the power of forgiveness. And when I have my clients, they come into me and I take them on a journey. One of the things of my process is, is we do start with forgiveness. And the question I always ask, is there anyone in your hemisphere, anyone that's in your circle that you have not forgiven? I'm a massage therapist of 26 years. That's what I do in, you know, my two gorgeous business. And a lot of people come in with body pain. And little did you know that lots of times we, as a massage therapy, we heal, heal on four levels, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, and the physical planes of levels when people come in. So oftentimes when you're coming in with a physical pain, it's contributed to an emotional pain or emotional or mental that of, of, a, of a problem or unresolved, let's say unresolved, that you will never know is the mind, body, spirit, soul connection. There's a mind, body, soul, and spirit connection. 
It is a mind, body, soul, spiritual connection. So the evidence of something that you might be harboring currently or maybe in the past that you have not given forgiveness to, it manifests in body pain. And then you don't realize why you having a pain in your neck or why you having a pain in your back or why you having piriformis or why you having a pain in your knee or why you having pain in your joint or why you can't breathe. Because there is unforgiveness there. So anyway, move forward. I began to feed my soul and it felt so good. So I say that to say, after I did that, my God, opportunities started coming. Clients started ringing. I got new clients coming to my spa. Money started to come in. God was taking care of me financially. The debt was starting to get paid. I was working out every day. I started a program with my fitness trainer and it became so easy. Things became easy. I didn't have to fight it anymore. I'm like, oh my God, my soul began to be fed. Is your soul being fed? Fed. My soul began to be fed. When your soul is fed or when you're fed from a soulful level, the world around you is different. People around you act different. You begin to be different. You become that being that you have been predestined to become. And it's been beautiful. So that was 2021. 20, the end of 2021 was fantastic. Started and created and started promoting my program, my unstoppable program. 2022, we go into 22. You know, I love to drink coffee. My favorite is Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee. It's one of the most exquisite coffees in the world to me. And I I've, I've been around a couple of continents. I've, I've, I've tasted a couple of coffee in a couple of different countries, you know, and That's my, that's my favorite when I go to Jamaica, but my second favorite is Kona, you know, and I was kind of thinking about where do I want to spend my birthday? Cause I like to always have birthday destinations. And I said, okay, this one, I love coffee and I'm having this conversation with God. I'm like, well, where am I going to spend my birthday? He said, where would you like to spend it? I like Kona coffee. I like to spend it in Kona, Hawaii, but then that's where you go. And I want to share this second tablet is seeing vision writing it down and making it plain and being very clear. It feeds your soul and be clear and dream big. I says, okay, I want to do Kona. I want to go to Kona, Hawaii because I want to drink some Kona coffee when I get to Kona, Hawaii. But not only that, I want to see the island and I, I, I want to go to a luau. It's been 20 years since I've been to one. And I want to get in the ocean. As a matter of fact, I've, I've never had a massage on the ocean. And I give massages all day, every day. He says, okay. Long story short, July comes. My birthday's in July. Kona, Hawaii. Beautiful location where I stayed right on the ocean. Got a massage right on the ocean. Saw the island. Island, a tour that was 11 hours up to the volcanoes. Everything I set my mind to that I wrote down that I wanted as my vision for the whole nine days I was there, God allowed it to come to pass. The second thing is increase your vibration and your frequency, attach that to that. Dream big and be very clear of what you're desiring. And God will give you the desires of your heart. Oh my God, it was, I'm being fed in my soul. So wonderful. Third discovery. As I begin to do some reading, and, and, and I do have a coach. Oprah Winfrey has a coach. Tony Robbins have a coach. And as you continue in this journey in life, you will have a coach. My entrepreneur queens that are building their, their businesses and scaling it. Yes, you do need to have coaches from time to time. I have a fitness coach, a spiritual coach. I have a business coach. I have three coaches. And so I was doing some reading and I wanted to share this with you. Is that, you know, I have come to discover it in one of the books I was reading with one of my coaches of why we as women, and if you don't discover this and you act a certain way and you're not getting certain results, and it's like, what? is the disconnect. And 
I did some reflection back and it's always good to do. Re, re, it's always good to reflect back. And I, I came to understand feminine instinct shows up in two distinct personalities, compliance and defiance. So here's the deal. It's is is ask yourself, are you in compliance and I and I am I'm thinking you know this 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 being easily embarrassed and, or feeling inadequate or, or this whole issue of um unworthiness and being codependent and and un, you know or under earning feeling though that you can't earn what you worth for the longest I was there slight doubts of uh, depression and being overwhelmed and anxious and overgiving didn't know where those things were coming from and I have come to discover those things was coming by being in compliance but then there's the other side of that where it's defiance and ask yourself are you in a defiant type of a spirit and that would be more self-obsessed or are you too harsh with people or you feel that you have the superior mentality or entitlement or are you addicted or are you very domineering or are you very controlling and you're very demanding or are you very inflexible or you could be downright aggressive or are you a taker because you're afraid and you always have to be the one to be the ticket because you don't want to be got. So I began to look at these personalities, these traits, and it's like, you know, we, we're a combination of both of them sometimes. But the key thing is identifying where they come from so that you can correct them. Because, see, here's the thing when it comes to feminine power. And, and, and ladies, we need to really walk into our feminine power. And that's the other piece of why my soul is being fed is because I am unleasing my feminine power power and that I am walking towards more of being alliant. I don't want to be compliance. I don't want to be in defiance. I want to be in alliance. And so when you open up your soul, you begin to see where these sides and where these triggers are and they become less is what I'm trying to tell you. And it feels so good because I can now identify with those things, lessen those things that become less triggered as I'm going through this walk, this beautiful journey. And I am also coaching other women to be as well. There is a great book that's out. I love, I love, I love, I love following Joel Osteen. Just wanted to share that with you. He has a, a beautiful book that's out. Actually, I think it's going to drop on the fourth and today is Sunday. So I'm a book reader, avid book reader. You know, for those of you who are audible listeners is that uh, you guys go get Joel Osteen's book. Your greater is coming. Oh my God. When I think about that, you know, going through this post pandemic thing, the greater is coming. It feels so good to be on this path to know, yes, God, my greater is coming. But my greatest good right now is as, as also. So he has this book, Your Greater is Coming. Go out and get it. Go on my Amazon store. I'm going to leave that in the show notes. You can just click it and you can pre-purchase it. It's going to be available. You know, I was, you know, listening to, I've always loved uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes and he's ending the woman thou art loose. He's been doing that for the last 20 years and it's so wonderful. It's coming to an end and it's like woman thou art loose. And I know that I am loose. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful to walk into this dominion when you know you're free and you're free in God. It's so beautiful to be in this place. And so I was listening to some of the wonderful things that Sarah Jakes was speaking on today and breaking down walls. Oh my God, I feel those walls coming down. You know, when you're not tied, when you're not tied at the neck and you can be who you are becoming that God wants you to be, that's when you can serve from your purpose. That's when you can be queen. That's when you can lead. That's when you can have these downloads from amongst high and you can be clear. The other thing is that I began my podcast show and it was really interesting. And uh, one of my clients, we, I was giving her a massage and she was telling me about uh, a particular football player actually that was retired and he had his show, Uncomfort Un Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man. And it was so funny and I started listening to that. And I was like, I just got inspired. I got inspired and, you know, I was in my, in my meditation. It's like, you know what, Lord, I think I want to have a podcast show. I said, I could do that. I can have my podcast show, but my podcast, I want it to be inspiring. I says, what would I call these as inspired conversations? I love it. I love it. There it is. 
is call it inspired conversations with Kim Evans. There it was. There it was. Inspired conversations with Kim Evans. <sighs> Being so led. So I started the podcast show. I started it last year in 2021. This is 2022. And welcome to the 53rd podcast show. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I am so excited. I have been blessed with having some of the most beautiful guests on my podcast show. And it was so, it was so, it was, a. It's. it has been an amazing ride and we're just now getting better. I'm not perfect at it, but it's, it, it is getting perfected. Um, I know in probably my next 50 podcast show, it's even going to be better than the first, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that you start. What matters is that you take action. What matters is that you do. What matters is that you're consistent. What matters that you believe. What matters that you have a message and to be spirit led. It's like God. That's why I start every podcast show opening up and inviting him into it. And I'm so honored with the guest I don't have to ask for guests. Guests come to me. I even have a company that sends me emails. It's like, Kim, we have a perfect guest for you. Oh my God, create it. And then the people will come. When you're living within purpose and with your vision, the people will come. When I started my business 26 years ago, I started it on purpose. And I wanted to make every woman look and feel absolutely too, through, too gorgeous through skin care and the art of makeup. Because when you touch the spirit of a woman, she touches every avenue in her life, in her with, with how she feels and her self-confidence. And 26 years later, I still love what I do. As my podcast show and my guest comes in, it's just really exciting to have nice conversations centered around divine health, divine healing, divine wellness, divine business, divine kingdom living, divine travel, divine fitness, divine health, divine God, divine living. So beautiful. So I just wanted to share this Sunday podcast with you on how my soul has opened up. It's so beautiful to be soul fed, living a life being soulfully fed. And I hope that you can do the same. This is Kim Evans and wanted to leave you with, please join me on my podcast show, Inspired Conversation and subscribe so you will never miss a podcast show. If you'd like to be a guest, please send me an email. Here are some ways that you can connect with me. I am so excited to bring to you my 12-month Business to Profits online program, which includes 10 modules, and it's group coaching that I do twice a week. It's every other Monday. It's for business women, entrepreneurs that are looking to grow and scale their business to multiple six figures that are feeling anxiety and overwhelm and really don't know what to do or how to put the pieces together. And the modules help you to do that. It's so exciting with the modules. And it's everything that I've had to do to make my spa business successful and everything that I am doing to continue to make my coaching bracket successful. I wanted to add the coaching component to it because therefore I keep a hand with you and you're coaching with me, I with you every single month, every other week. Because I'm here to help you to grow your business. The second way you can stay in contact with me, if you're looking for a coach and you want to do some one-on-one -on -one coaching, and I offer two tracks, one-on-one -on -one coaching and also um, a VIP day that you can work with me. The third way how we can connect, I'm so excited. I'm bringing back my live business to profit workshop. It's a master workshop. It's going to be January the 21st. In Lafayette, California, 2023. What a way to kick off the year. And so in the show notes, you can actually um, enroll for that as well. So thank you very much for listening to this beautiful Sunday afternoon podcast with me. And I am Kim Evans. God bless you all and have a very beautiful kingdom inspiring week. Bye for now.